Often referred to as Africa in miniature for its geological and cultural diversity, Cameroon is a country in Central Africa. It is bordered by Nigeria to the west and north, Chad to the northeast, the Central African Republic to the east, and Equatorial Guinea, Gabon and the Republic of the Congo to the south. Cameroon is home to over 250 native languages spoken by nearly 20 million people. The country is well known for its native styles of music and its successful national football team. On today's countdown, we will be talking about Cameroon and what makes it one of the most beautiful nations in Central Africa. But before we start, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more interesting videos. First of all, let's start by looking at the flag of Cameroon. The national flag of Cameroon was adopted in its present form on May 20, 1975 after Cameroon became a unitary state. It is a vertical tricolor of green, red and yellow with a five-pointed star in its center. The color scheme of the flag of Cameroon uses the traditional Pan-African colors. The center stripe red is the color of unity and the star is referred to as the star of unity. The yellow stands for the sun and also the savannas in the northern part of the country, while the green is for the forests in the southern part of Cameroon. The previous flag of Cameroon, used from 1961 to 1975, had a similar color scheme, but with two gold stars in the upper half of the green. Cameroon is sometimes identified as West African, and other times as Central African due to its strategic position at the crossroads between West and Central Africa. Although Cameroon is not an ECOWAS member state, it is geographically and historically in West Africa, with the Southern Cameroons which now form our Northwest and Sudwest regions, having a strong West African history. Cameroon is home to over 250 native languages spoken by nearly 20 million people. Early inhabitants of the territory included the Sao civilization around Lake Chad, and the Baca hunter-gatherers in the southeastern rainforest. The official languages of Cameroon are French and English, which were the official languages of former colonial French Cameroons and British Cameroons respectively. Cameroon's religious population consists of 70% Christians and 20% Muslims. Cameroon is also known as Africa in miniature for its geological and cultural diversity. Natural features in Cameroon include beaches, deserts, mountains, rainforests, and savannas. The country's economic capital and main seaport is Yaoundé. The country is well known for its native styles of music, and is a member state of the African Union, the United Nations, Non-Aligned Movement, and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Cameroon's financial system is one of the largest in Central Africa. The economy of Cameroon was one of the most prosperous in Africa for a quarter of a century after independence. The drop in commodity prices for its principal exports, particularly petroleum, cocoa, coffee, and cotton, in the mid-1980s, combined with an overvalued currency and economic mismanagement, led to a decade-long recession. Cameroon's real per capita GDP fell by more than 60% from 1986 to 1994. Yet because of its oil reserves and favorable agricultural conditions, Cameroon still has one of the best endowed primary commodity economies in sub-Saharan Africa. The banking sector in Cameroon is highly concentrated and dominated by foreign commercial banks. According to reports, 6 out of the 11 of the country's largest commercial banks are foreign-owned, and the three largest banks hold more than 50% of total financial system assets. Cameroon became an oil-producing country in 1977. While claiming to want to make reserves for difficult times, the authorities manages off-budget oil revenues in total opacity, the funds are placed in Paris, Switzerland, and New York accounts. However, several billion dollars are diverted to the benefit of oil companies and regime officials. The influence of France and its 9,000 nationals in Cameroon remains considerable. African Affairs magazine noted that they continue to dominate almost all key sectors of the economy, much as they did before independence. French nationals control over 45% of the modern sector of the Cameroonian economy and their control over the banking system remains till this day. France is Cameroon's main trading partner, its source of private investment and foreign aid. Cameroon also has investment agreements and a bilateral accord with the United States which invested over $1 million in its oil sector. Since the 1980, the government of Cameroon has embarked on a series of economic reform programs supported by the World Bank and International Monetary Fund. Cameroon has one of the highest school attendance rates in Africa. In 2015, the total adult literacy rate of Cameroon was estimated to be 75%. Among youths aged 15 to 24, the literacy rate was 87% for males and 80% for females. Girls attend school less regularly than boys, because of cultural attitudes, domestic duties, early marriage, and pregnancy. Cameroon's educational system is a mixture of British and French precedents, with most instruction in English or French. Although attendance rates are higher in the South, school attendance in Cameroon is also affected by child labor. 
Indeed, the United States Department of Labor findings on the worst forms of child labor reported that 56% of children aged 5 to 14 were working children, and almost 53% of children aged 7 to 14 combined work and school. The quality of health care in Cameroon is generally low. Life expectancy at birth is estimated to be 56 years in 2012, with 48 healthy life years expected. Fertility rate also remain high in Cameroon with an average of 5 births per woman, and an average mother at the age of 20 at first birth. According to the World Health Organization, in Cameroon, there is only one doctor available for every 5,000 people. And in 2018, just over 7% of total GDP expenditure was allocated to healthcare. Due to financial cuts in the healthcare system, there are few medical professionals in Cameroon. Doctors and nurses who were trained in Cameroon, emigrate because in Cameroon the payment is poor while the workload is high. In 2012, the top three deadly diseases were HIV-AIDS, lower respiratory tract infection, and diarrhea diseases. The HIV-AIDS prevalence rate in 2016 was estimated at 3.8% for those aged 15 to 49, although the strong stigma against the illness keeps the number of reported cases artificially low. As of 2020, Cameroon's major export markets include France, Italy, South Korea, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Cameroon aims to become an emerging country by 2035. The country has a decade of strong economic performance, with GDP growing at an average of 4% per year since 2016. During the 2004-2008 period, public debt was reduced from over 60% of GDP to 10%, and official reserves quadrupled to over $3 billion. Since the late 1980s, Cameroon has been following programs advocated by the World Bank and International Monetary Fund to reduce poverty. The government has taken measures to encourage tourism in the country. Cameroon is part of the Bank of Central African States, of which it is the dominant economy. Unemployment was estimated at 4% in 2019, and 23.8% of the population was living below the international poverty threshold of one US dollar and 90 cents a day in 2014. An estimated 70% of the population farms, and agriculture comprised an estimated 19.8% of GDP in 2009. Livestock farming is also growing. Fishing employs over 5,000 people and provides over 100,000 tons of seafood each year. However, the reliance on agricultural exports makes Cameroon vulnerable to shifts in their prices. Factory-based industry accounted for an estimated 29.7% of GDP in 2009. More than 75% of Cameroon's industrial strength is located in Douala and Banabari. Transport in Cameroon is often difficult, except for the several relatively good toll roads which connect major cities, all of which are one-lane roads and are poorly maintained. Although press freedoms have improved since the first decade of the 21st century, the press is corrupt and beholden to special interests and political groups. The major radio and television stations are state-run, and other communications, such as land-based telephones and telegraphs are largely under government control. In conclusion, Cameroon is the perfect place to explore traditional African and tribal culture. Cameroon is so diverse and rich in natural landscapes composed of active volcanoes, white sand beaches, tropical rainforests, and stunning rock formations. Did you know that Cameroon is one of the wettest countries on Earth? Full of rainforests, it is only normal that the annual rainfall in Cameroon would be above normal. It gets more rainfall than most places on Earth. In particular, the western slopes of Mount Cameroon receive between 250 to 350 inches of rain a year. Cameroon is also home to one of the most deadly and explosive lakes in the world, Lake Nyas. This is because the water is saturated with carbon dioxide, a result of a pocket of magma that sits underneath the lake. In 1986, the lake emitted a massive amount of carbon dioxide, which killed 1,700 people and 3,500 livestock in the nearby towns and villages. That brings us to the end of today's video. Tell us what you love most about Cameroon in the comment section below.